What's up? It's your boy Protein giving you a no contact update and I've got some great news. I've been in no contact so long that I forgot how long I've been in no contact for. And if anybody out there who has been in a breakup or you're trying to get out of a you know different situation when you go no contact and you start to forget how long it's been, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you start to sleep better, you start to eat better, you start to have less anxiety. You don't check a person's like social media for a profile picture change, et cetera, et cetera. And these are all the things that people do because the one thing when you're in no contact and you're going through a breakup, especially if somebody broke up with you, it creates like a sense of you get rejection. So you feel like you're unworthy, even if you're a confident person. That's why you got to be careful. It's powerful. Whoever breaks up with who first, it's a leverage point. But you have to remember that when the person that broke up with you, it was something that they've already been thinking about for a very long time. So the issue is, if somebody was to break up with you and you're like, oh no, I want to find a way to figure this out. I want to find a way to fix this, blah, blah, blah. Right, that person thinks you're like manipulating them because you don't know this. They already decided to break up with you weeks, months before, no, no telling how long, but yet they still are with you saying, well, okay, I'll give it one more day. But deep down, they were already checked out. So they were already conflicted. So when they left you, they were like feeling very good, like relieved. They feel like, okay, I feel free now. I can go do what I want to do. I can go out. I can go hang what I want to go hang with. I can do all that. When in, in real time, they couldn't do that anyway. And I'm saying, especially with me in a relationship, like as long as you're respectful, I don't give a shit what you do. And I'm gonna be honest with you. As long as you honest, I don't care what you do. Because to me, the one thing I hang my hat on is honesty. That's the one thing in any relationship I've been with in the past two, three women, I have been completely honest. They can't sit up there and say, well, he lied to me about this. You are not like some of the things I've done, but I have not lied. I have been totally truthful. So when they go back out there and they want to go in the dating game, most of the most of the shit that people are paying to them is lies. But I learned this a long time ago. There's no point in lying. Either you don't like me for straight up for who I am or you're just not going to like me at all. And I'm cool with doing what I got to do. So, I mean, you know, they feel the relief. And then all of a sudden, you know, when you start to feel, when you start to feel good, I'm telling you my energy up, but when you start to feel good after the breakup, that's when they start feeling a little iffy. It's like weird, like how the energy dynamic happens. And you might even have like some days, the person you broke up with, you can kind of just like, damn, why do I like feel all this about, my ex right now is because your ex at that moment is sending you energy if you doing your thing if you feeling better if you doing better if you taking care of yourself and you looking vibrant and all of a sudden you like whoa like where does weight like where did this weight come from that's because in those type of moments the person that you have an attachment to and you bonded with your ex is like thinking about you hard and you can feel the energy coming towards you now, just because they think about you hard doesn't mean that they want to be back with you. You know what I mean? And the thing is, your focus really shouldn't even be that right now. Your focus should be on doing the best what you can with your life, like enjoying yourself, you know, reading the books, getting in shape, uh, becoming more smarter, educated, putting yourself out there, you know what I mean? Just enjoying life experience, like learning how to be happy. Because another thing too, like, a lot of times breakups happen for a number of reasons besides the relationship. It could be work stress. It could be family stress. It could be a mental problem that you don't know what somebody's going through. It could be an addiction problem. There are so many reasons that if somebody breaks up with you that I believe you shouldn't take it personal. And it is a big thing that you do take personal because it's a, it's a shot to the ego. Because, like, believe it or not, rejection actually breeds desire. When somebody rejects, rejects you, it breeds desire. When you get cut from a basketball team or a football team, baseball team, it breeds desire. Like, I was even at work, and I heard this one girl talk about, oh, this guy she met on Tinder years ago. 
he like rejected her like years ago and then came into the job and she was like taking him home from the bar. And I was just like, damn, yo, it's just crazy how people get turned on by being rejected and you have to be extremely careful not to fall into that. You have to be very careful not falling in love with rejection, with always feeling like you're not good enough because then you feel like whoever rejects you, that you're always going to have to go chase the approval of that person. And that's the wrong energy to have because the only approval you need is from yourself. And, you know, I've been doing a little bit of traveling and um, I went out of town and I saw somebody and I saw them at work and I was just like, damn, I could tell this person just like wasn't happy with what they was doing. And I'm sitting here looking like there is just like so many optics out here. You know, like a lot of people aren't happy. And then what happens, they get in a relationship looking for a relationship to make them happy. They even look for a job to make them happy, right? But the one thing that's going to make you happy is when you have a full-time job on yourself is when you're working with you. Like when you're working on yourself, your job is going to be better. When you're working on yourself, your relationship is going to be better. No contact, especially if you got dumped, it's the perfect opportunity for you to focus on yourself and go work on you. It's the perfect opportunity to like realize what makes me happy when it's just me, you know? And you shouldn't have to always seek another person that is gonna fill those gaps to, so you don't feel porous. You know, you have to be very content with who you are. You have to be proud of who you are and you have to go search for who you are because you might have left yourself back there a few exes and you got to come back and find you. So, I mean, I've been in no contact. I've lost count. Like, I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm doing better. You know, thank God, like, this whole thing, this whole breakup was one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel. And I love it. And I even had some people coming to me in the comments was like, oh, it's the last thing we need is another another fitness person that's doing this and i'm like bro go read the bio i ain't doing this for nobody but myself so i can look back and see how far i come i was even at work okay i'm even at work and somebody at work was telling me oh yeah you you got now like you know 408 followers but just so you know i don't follow you i'm like all right so why are you telling me because one you want to test me that's what some women do they want to shit test you all the time it's like i don't care if you follow me um, I didn't start this for you and I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for myself. You got to get a little selfish and start to do things for you because even that person in the no contact, guess what they said when they left? They said, I'm doing what's best for me. And I'm glad they did. I am so, look, you got to be like this. When you get to the point where you say, I am so happy that my ex and I broke up, that I'm so happy that my ex dumped me. When you say that, that's when you know you're headed down the right path. When you say, I'm so happy my ex dumped me because I went and found out how to make myself happy without needing anybody. And that is the greatest thing you could have because anybody can walk in and out of your life and you have to learn to attach, detach, especially being a man. Women can detach. They got like so much community. They got so much friends, but sometimes men can feel alone. But man, when you detach and you say, I'm going to work on my career, I'm going to go work on my body, I'm going to work on my health, my nutrition, I'm going to work on, I'm going to work on my mental, I'm going to read the books, I'm going to go back to school. When you do that, man, you're going to become unstoppable, unstoppable. And of course, they're going to think it's attractive. Nobody broke up with you hoping you're going to do better. I'm going to say this again. Nobody broke up with you hoping you're going to do better because it makes them look bad. So when you go do all your things, they're looking like, you don't, no, let's just be for real. You think that your girl broke up with you, then all of a sudden people run to you and they say, oh my God, he looked better. He doing this, he doing that after he broke up with you. Then all of a sudden they look at her and now she looks like the problem. Now you think that's how they want it to go? So you're going to have to pick yourself up and you're going to have to keep improving day by day. Because you gotta make her look silly.
It's your boy, Protein P, baby. We in no contact, and we forgot how long we've been in it. No contact P. You see the C.